What up, peeps? It's Mama from Joe Mama here, and today we're back on Minecraft Story Mode Season 2, Episode 2, Part 3, Giant Consequences. And this ain't like the third time I've had to redo the story. No. I didn't have problems with the audio messing up, and no. I didn't have problems with the audio messing up on either one of them. No. That would, you know, mean that Camtasia sucks. But <laughs> the second time I did figure it out this time, because I did a trial uh, record, I can't have the echo cancellation on. I can't have the noise suppression on. So you're going to hear almost everything. I tried to turn the volume down as low as I can so it's not overpowering. But I also got to remember that while the story is playing, if I need to speak, I'm going to have to pause it or else you will not hear me. <laughs> but let's get on with the story. Stay close. I don't mean to sound suspicious, but do you really think the admin is going to keep his word about this clock? Yeah, I don't exactly get a trustworthy vibe off of him. I don't know. I mean, I thought he seemed sincere. Why set all this up if he wasn't going to really let us fix things? Yeah, well, color me skeptical. Jesse, uh, can we, um, talk? And like I said, this is the third time, and regardless of what you choose to respond to Petra, she still gets irritated. So it really does not matter what your answer to her is, except the adventurer one. That is the best one that we have found for her. Now, when you say anything else, it doesn't matter, it still irritates her. I'll just walk a little more over here. Oh, uh, right. Uh, 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 me, me, me too. About that trip with Jack. I promise it's not like it seems. It's just a little trip. A little time away from Beacon Town. To, I don't know find myself? You're gonna come back, right? Sure. Uh, of course. Yeah, that seems so sincere and honest. I... I really am sorry that it happened this way. I, I was just so excited to be hanging out with real hardcore adventurers again. Especially because I was worried that you... that you didn't need me anymore. So you decide the best idea is to ditch me? Uh, see, this is why it would have been so much easier if you hadn't found out like this. It's just... Everything's so different from when we first became friends. Everything's... changed. Lucas, Axel, Olivia, they all changed too. They found what made them happy. Their thing. But me? I still haven't found mine. Do you know how hard that is? I mean, if I'm honest, it does seem like adventure is your calling. You know, the open road. Right? That's kind of what I thought, too. Luna! Hey. You don't? Well, where'd she come from? This is Luna. She's kind of cute, right? We returned her to her owner, Stella. She is cute, isn't she? Everyone get away from my mama. <coughs> Jesse, my rival. Should have known I would find you here. 
Hush, I'm talking. Yeah, hi, Stella. Hi? That's all you have to say for yourself. Okay. What is going on here? Lucas, this is Stella, leader of Champion City. This is Jack, Voss, and Radar. Jock, was it? As in, the legendary champion? So, what exactly are you doing here, Stella? My beautiful city is currently covered in a hideous coat of snow. That's what. I came out to investigate, and surprise, surprise, it's you. If you're smart, you'll undo whatever it is you did and put things right again. Just... wow. Pretending to be a hero again? Just like back in your treasure room? I... no! Just... I am going to fix it. <laughs> well, I believe we have it well covered, miss. We're on our way to find a mighty adversary and set things right. All right. Let's say I believe you. I suppose I'll just have to find a way to fix it. It's my world, too, after all. You'll see, I'll fix it all on my own. I don't need any of you losers. Such a delusional loser. Whoa, the, the moon is stuck. Okay, that's freaky. So, step you were saying? I was saying that maybe I'll stick around for a bit, just to keep an eye on you. You know, I've been thinking about it, and I totally agree that adventure is probably the closest I've got to a thing. But did this adventure really have to include Stella? <laughs> right. Could have done without her. Luna still could have came, but we could have done without Stella. someone, and she wasn't so good with a sword either. Oh, really? You act so high and mighty, but you really are just a bully sometimes. You know that? Come on, Luna. And you really are an obnoxious, annoying witch. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Thanks, Jesse. I appreciate that not the person she thinks I am anymore. I've changed. And I can prove it. I can be different. Braver. As far as I'm concerned, Radar, you don't need to change. You can just be you. See? And that's what makes you one million times the leader she'll ever be. Wow. Would you 
look at that. That is kind of epic. Haven't seen anything that grand since the last time I visited the overcompensating builders of Igesh. No kidding! Oh boy, my favorite! Mystery levers! Let's pull this mystery lever. Oops, my mouse went to sleep. It went to idle. down the hole we fall and Jack is just running down it like a beast sure. nice landing uh, it's nothing it's just my perfect reflexes and photographic muscle memory well we're not going back the way we came the way is shut yes now I suppose the only way out is through yeah and smashing that clock. Well, we're not all going to be smashing the clock. You got that right. So what now? You heard the admin. He only wants the best of the best. And that's going to be me. Oh, you've got to be kidding. Sorry, handsome. Might as well quit now. Nuh-uh. No way, Stella. I'm taking you down. Oh, I knew you were my rival, Jesse. Let's go, Luna. 
Poor Luna. Well, that is certainly a woman who knows what she wants. Are you kidding? She's nuts. Ah, well, no one knows better than me that the admin's traps and constructions mean business. You've got a point there, old friend. I don't want to see anyone else get hurt. Yes. Me neither. Dad, it's like the admin said. Not everyone here might be uh, up for the task. I mean no offense by it. Just uh, stating facts. All in this together, all right? No one's getting left behind here. <sighs> Fine. If something happens to them, that's on you, not me. Come with me, Jack. Uh, let's try and scope this place out. I'm... I'm gonna go talk to them. Well, I have never been so offended. Not in my whole life. Yeah, that wasn't the coolest. Well, was it the coolest? Oh, yeah. Miss filing your acacia wood during material organization <laughs> isn't the coolest. That was... You go, was Radar. A stripe too far. But just because I'm not some sword-swinging meathead, they, oh, they can just walk Let's away. let them ran it out. They, they think they, they look at me and my... Well, my, my skinny little arms, and, and they think they know me. They think they know me. <coughs> they are wrong. Dead wrong. I mean, I have been an embarrassment sometimes, but it stops here. It ends today. And I... Uh, <clears throat> you done now? I guess I'm done. Okay. Sorry. I need you to remember that out there, the world is stuck in eternal night. There are a lot of scared people back in Beacon Town who are counting on us. You're right. Uh, we were talking and decided that it would be best for everyone if Radar stays here with Lucas while we go get the clock. That probably would be the best. That's it, Luna, darling. She's got the clock sent! <laughs> Later, losers! We're wasting time! Wait, the admin built this whole place to eliminate people, right? Trick them? Sure, it looks like Luna found something, but that's... Just what the admin wants us to think. You saw the lava! Jesse, you're coming, right? We could really use a hand over here. And that's where we're gonna end episode or part three of season two episode two of minecraft story mode giant consequences if you like this video let us know by hitting that like button if you're new to the channel and are considering subscribing hit that subscribe button next to it a little bell will pop up and you know what you gotta do i wish joey was here to say it but you gotta click that little bell and when you do, you'll know when we do a live stream and when we post a video. And if you did just recently subscribe, let us know down in the comments, hey, I subscribed. We'll go to your channel, we'll subscribe back, we'll click that little bell so we'll know when you post a video. And we'll give you a shout out in a future video along with the link to your channel and our description box below so that our peeps can come check you out and who knows, maybe our peeps will become your peeps and we'll be one big happy peep family. Thanks for watching guys. We will see you in the next video. Bye!